It's so smelty. Hello everyone, welcome back to Journey Beyond the Abyss. So, we have this lovely smelter all set up. What can we do with it? Well, one of the things we can do with it is we can make alloys now. Yeah, it's not just a useful, essentially a big furnace. It can also make us some more metals that we've never seen before. So, the first thing I'm going to want to make is something to upgrade my tools with. I want to make myself some hard diamond. Yeah. So to make, or, or hard carbon rather, forgive me. So, to do that you need 100 millibuckets of liquefacted coal to 333 millibuckets of molten diamond. So, a diamond will melt down into 666. So, that's half a diamond worth on one hand to make one 100 millibucks we're gonna need 200 millibuckets per diamond is what I should say and this yes so 20 of them will be a hundred I need 40 charcoal per diamond yeah that's quite a lot so I'm gonna to want to make new heads for all my tools so I'm gonna to need two four six yeah, why not? Seven. And to do that, I'm going to need 280. About four stacks worth of charcoal. Maybe five. Yep, I'm going to need to start making more charcoal. I might not have enough to make all of the hard carbon just yet. Alright, I need to get that seared stone out of there first. Yes, ratios are often, uh, yes, and that's going to tell you that uh, all that charcoal we built up, yeah, we went through it right quick, didn't we? Uh-huh, and we're going to need more of it to make steel, so on the agenda today is going to be increasing the pit burner and doing a whole bunch of pit burns. So that's 1,600, 1,632... 8 would give me even ratio again. 40. Yeah. Wait, 2 buckets? That's 2,000 coal. What, what did I need for a hard diamond again? Three hundred and thirty-three per 100. Okay, so this is 2,000. So that should be... Four, six, eight, ten. I should have enough to melt down ten diamonds worth, I think. Let me see if my mental math is right there. Okay, so I don't need as much charcoal as I thought, but still, we are going to want to start mass producing charcoal pretty soon here, because we are also going to need it, uh, that liquefacted coal for steel. So let's get to chopping trees while those diamonds are melting. Yes, I probably derped my mental math somewhere along the line there. And it might be time to expand the tree farm. Might just... In any case, if the game will cooperate with me, yep, and we can determine when things are done melting by when that stops pooting out little puffs of pollution and stops smoking. There we go, almost two entire pit burns worth. Yeah, I'm also going to have to probably start soaking up the uh, wood tar into tar bales. That'll also help us produce more charcoal, though. But yeah, pretty soon 
that little workshop is going to be full, and honestly, that'll probably be enough wood tar to last us. And it, even if it's not, if we find some big sink of it, then it's really easy to get more. Wood tar is not difficult. How you doing? Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, I was right. Okay. So four more diamonds and yeah all right well I was not expecting it to be that easy I guess I derped my mental math somewhere and I will probably facepalm it myself watching this in post so first we're gonna need to fully repair all our tools so we can just upgrade them one two three four also, I think we are going to need to make a cast for our uh, for our chisel head. Yeah, we're possibly going to need to make a couple of casts. In fact, do I have any of these tool head casts? No, I don't. Okay, so I'm going to need pickaxe. I'm going to need axe, shovel, and chisel. And yeah, I might as well upgrade the chisel. It's not terribly important, but you know. Let's just do it. And let's get these all in full condition. You know what? I'm realizing that I should just move this to that side. There, now I have easy access to it all. So, gonna need to create those tool heads. We'll just make them out of cobble. I don't really have any cobble. Yeah, let's use the andesite. It's fine. If we need more andesite, we'll go pick it up from the volcano. So, pickaxe head, axe head, shovel head, and chisel head. And now, when you, huh, it's missing, huh. One more diamond's worth, I guess. That's unfortunate. Wasting a lot of lava and making a lot of pollution just burning one thing, but we want to clean the tank out nice and evenly. In any case, let's... Ah, yes. You can change which liquid the smeltery is using in this interface just by clicking on it. And there is a nice hard diamond pickaxe head. Takes forever to dry. Huh. And there it goes. Make a cast. And yeah, look at this. This will have. I, I think. Let's compare the prismarine head. So that's 430 durability, mining level iron, mining speed 5. This is almost twice the durability, mining level obsidian, and twice the mining speed. Yep. Hard diamond tools are pretty darn good. And in order to swap it out, we... Why did this take damage? mysterious in any case yeah let me, let me just show you that oh I can just swap it out it doesn't need to be in full condition well let's save us a hard diamond anyway or hard carbon yeah and instead of aqua dynamic and jagged it'll have lightweight and sharp Increases the overall speed of your tool when mining and attacking, just in general, instead of only in water. 
and leaves the enemy bleeding for a short time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Almost twice the durability. Almost twice... Yeah, in fact, exactly twice the mining speed. One mining level higher. All around beautiful upgrade. There's our axe head. And it's very nice to see a nice even ratio inside of our smelter. Uh-huh. Very nice upgrade. This will also probably make an incredible uh, an incredible weapon to smack people with. Well, not people. Monsters don't count as people. Not until they start their civil rights movement, which, well, I, I, I can't say they won't do that because they're brain dead, knowing what we know about most rights movements these days. Mm. Anyway. One last cast. One more tool. Mm-hmm. And not strictly necessary to upgrade this, but I want it. Now, the problem here is going to be getting all these ingots out, because you're seeing how long this takes to cast. So, can I make a hard diamond block? I don't think I can. Hard carbon. Yes, carbon. No, I think it can only be cast into tool parts and hopefully ingots. Yeah, it'll take an ingot cast. So there we go. I think this is almost exactly half the durability of a chisel. Chisel. Like a... Uh, from... The chisel mod, which is what this tool is filling in as. But uh, that chisel is something we can't build and would be harder to repair than this is. Okay, it's looking like the ingots are casting out in a nice normal speed, at least. Now, this is an unfortunately unfamiliar item, but that won't stop us from using it in the tool table to repair our tools. Just like it did with the prismarine. So... With that, since we now have mining level obsidian and very nice tools, we can solve this obsidian quest with just a quick trip into the abyss. How many of these have I got to pour? Eight more ingots. Not bad. And yes, when I run through these ingots, that does mean I'm going to have to create more of this alloy to repair my tools. Which is unfortunate, but oh well. How's this doing? That's done already? Hot damn! Well, no reason to wait. Let's just cycle it. Yes, I'm definitely going to want to start banking up lots and lots of charcoal. Because I'm going to be using it. And that was zero waste. Wow. Impressive. Mm-hmm. Ah, oh, good. And that pattern chest is still linked to the correct one. I, I guess I was a little bit uh, hasty putting this between two pattern chests. I wonder... I, I guess it just chose that one because it connected to it first. A little bit like a baby bird imprinting on someone. Still, it would probably be good to find a better place for that. I suppose that when it comes time to expand the smelter, that'll be when the final position of everything is decided. Alright, is that everything? That's everything. 
Alright. Just right in there, please. Now, next up we need to make some steel. Hello. That's 18 to 25. Mm. Well, we know that 20 that a single charcoal will turn itself into 50. So let's see. What does 18 divide into in terms of what an ingot melts into? An ingot will melt into 144. So 36, 72. So that's 18 times 8. So that means that to make steel, no, not ferroborn. What the hell? Steel, please. Okay. So that means that in order that we're going to need 25 times 8. So that should be four pieces of charcoal to one piece of iron. Let me see if I'm correct in that. Let's go keep cycling the trees while that's melting away. We definitely want to... Ah, uh, yes, yeah, see? They have spread like a cancer. Unfortunate. really hate that behavior of dynamic trees. I guess that means that this one is too close. And I guess that means that these must be infected. <sighs> Keep a clean inventory, kids. A sanitary inventory is a sane inventory. And let's just turn all of those into some nice logs. That'll get us a nice collection of things to burn. Yep, that is a nice even smelt. So, for every one iron, we're going to need four charcoal in order to make steel. And right now, we're going to need to make seven more steel to make a large plate. So that means we're going to need 28 charcoal. Just to finish out the quest. And that won't be the only plate we need. We're going to need quite a lot of them. Do I have a... No, I don't. So I need to make a cast for that. Thankfully, so long as it doesn't alloy with something, there's nothing wrong with putting multiple liquids inside the smeltery. And let's not use that. Let's make it out of wood. Can we cast wood? Let's find out. Thankfully, we already have the pattern. Yes, yeah, so and note that alloys are not made right away, which is a difficulty you have to consider when it comes time for piping and mass automation. Pardon. Yeah, looks like there's nothing wrong with casting wood. Yep. Just pour it right down the gullet of that thing. Drowning in molten metal as all creepers should. Give that a moment. 
give that a bit more than a moment. Hmm. Huh. There we go. Yep. So that's quest one. It also wants, well, uh, it would probably be advantageous to make a bit more than, uh, so with 16 and that'll make us four. That's a nice good number to put in our smeltery. Actually, yeah, with a stack of charcoal, which we can do relatively quickly, we can make a full 16 steel at a time, which is what our, and since charcoal melts so quickly, we can just throw that in and then leave that to melt. That's probably how we'll be producing steel in the meantime. Yep, we're also going to need to hunt down lots of iron, obviously. Well, we got a little bit more to play with. But we're going to need way more than that. So, let's do a quick trip by the Abyss. And pick up some obsidian, just for the purposes of the quest. I'm not quite sure why it's asking me for obsidian. I guess it'll be for the purposes of making uh, obsidian cogs and the like that we're going to need for some machines that are coming up. Yep. And obsidian being the main stone of the abyss is really easy to get your hands on. Oh boy. Without Aqua Dynamic, this sucks. Okay. Maybe instead of having an Iron Binding, I should have a Prismarine Binding. Well, let's just... Let's just pick up a total of eight of these for now. If the game will stop lagging. Not that one, that one. Yeah, without aqua dynamics, suddenly water becomes a major hindrance to mining operations, especially down here. So I think that I think that a single prismarine its default aspect should be aqua dynamic, not jagged. Like you notice that um this from uh, Hard Carbon has Lightweight and Sharp. I think that Hard Carbon, if it's something other than the Head, it'll only have one of those aspects. See how it says Head, Lightweight, Sharp, Extra, Lightweight? So I think Prismarine... Yeah, Extra is Aqua Dynamic. So, that means that if we change out the binding from metal to prismarine, then our tool will probably lose a little bit of durability, but it'll gain, it'll lose its magnetic aspect, but it'll gain aqua dynamic again. Let's just go home. Oh, first of all, need to get on the floor before any dinosauring is done. Home base, yes. And that should make underwater mining operations go much more quickly. So let's just pick up three of these. Because we're going to want that on all our tools. Make three bindings. And uh, swap them out. Oh, it actually gains a little bit of durability out of the deal, too. Nice. But yes, with that obsidian gained, I think that what this is going to be for is we should be able to just take it in, yeah, and make those obsidian shards. And those obsidian shards are going to be something that we need pretty shortly. In the meantime, let's just keep this... Yeah. So, 
yep, I was right that that is exactly as much steel as, uh, or exactly to ratio production there. And look at that, ingot of steel, lovely. I won't say no to some kindling, we can make use of that. I will say no to some thatch. We won't make use of that. And next it just wants me to pick up a diamond. There you go. Easy pleasy. Now... I know that I can cast steel out into blocks, but can I crush steel blocks? Well, what does liquid steel cast out into? Cast into that style of block, which is unfamiliar. So no, I have to cast it out as ingots, unfortunately. In the meantime, though, I should see what type of thing I can do to uh, cast out some pig iron. Need to figure out a better water source. I could technically make a, uh, a little canteen that'll make me slightly less likely to get dehydrated, but not 100%. But no, is there any... I know that Tough as Nails has a high-tech, high-tech solution that, like, automatically fills your thirst and has an internal water tank, but that probably won't be unlocked for a little while. I guess the best I could get right now is the canteen, and that's really not very good. So I just need to suck it up and deal with it for the moment. Just like I need to suck it up and deal with pouring all this out. Anyway, pig iron. That's going to be an interesting thing to alloy. So that's one iron ingot to 40 blood to 72 clay. Clay. That's one ingot. Okay, so that's half a clay. So it's really uh, two iron ingots to one clay to 80 blood, whatever blood is worth. Let's see here, blood. Ah, okay. So it's two iron ingots and two rotten flesh to one clay. That's not too bad. And I think that pig iron, I'm gonna need four of it for the machine that's probably going to be asking me for. Well, I'm going to need more of it later. Yeah, yeah. But in the meantime, it's... Yeah, it's working me up to the blacksmith's workshop, which you see is going to need all these steel... He that's what I should be casting out as. I should be casting them out to these, not to ingots. Silly me. Well, that's 11. So that's not even. But, oh well. And it would have been 16 too. Darn. I could just melt these ingots. Are these ingots useful for anything on their own? Hmm. I think we are eventually going to need a better Tinker's Anvil. Let's see. Scorched Duck? Hmm. Oh, that would be for if I was making a high oven, I think. It won't be useful right away, but it will be useful eventually. In any case, let's get another batch of steel on the cooker, I think. Except I'm going to need more iron. Let's go run out and get some more iron. Do I have some in the mining target? Let's see. There should at least be a few blocks. And if not, I know of some other easy sources I can go for. I wonder if I can melt down those iron doors. I don't think I can. That is something a smelter can sometimes do though, is melt down iron items and equipment and stuff like that. Iron door. Oh well. I guess I can't see right now. Those will be unknown items. Hmm. 
No, it looks like I cleaned the iron out of here. Yeah, this looks like iron ore. No, it's ruby ore. Oh? Oh! Redstone ore. You don't say. Huh. And that's just happening every time because I have silk touch. Is this... <laughs> so silk touch is working on this, weirdly enough. Okay. Why not? It won't work on that, though. No. That looks like beryllium, maybe? That looks like lead. Diamond ore. Okay. It's bizarre that I can get these. I don't know if that's useful for anything, but... It's... It's something that's happening. Is there anything in those dispensers? No. In any case, let's just, uh... Yeah, it's bizarre what is silk touching and what is not. It really seems to be absolutely random, and I'm kind of boggled by it. But in the meantime, let's just run over to this platform over here. Yeah, these platforms with the red helipads on top of them, that you can see there in Journey Map in the upper right corner, these have a couple iron blocks on them. I'm just gonna... Oh yeah, see how fast this is? Now that I'm sitting in the water, it's already a high-speed tool, but now that it's aqua dynamic, and I was in water, it was just ridiculous. Yes, and these are working now. Cobblestone walls. These aren't working. What are these? These are andesite. Huh. I could just turn this into andesite with the chisel. Not gonna bother. But that's good to know. Ah, uh, yes. I want to get my hands on every lever I run across, even though I can't use it yet. It is just still useful to stock them up. Observers? Hmm. Or something else. Yeah, that's bizarre. I don't really have a sword. I should make a sword. Hard carbon would be excellent for it. Yeah, axe ain't working for that. But, yep, a nice big collection of iron blocks, just ripe for the picking. And now we just need to tell them that they don't exist. Do any of these have less weight? I doubt it. But that is a thing to look for, like, see how these stone bricks have a stack weight of, uh, nothing? If I put them in the chisel, yeah, stone, which they're derived from, has a weight of one kilogram. Most of these do, but stone bricks? Yep. So that's one thing you can do, is, if I went to the, uh, Normans and I bought a bunch of smooth stone, I could transform it into stone bricks and cart just stacks and stacks of it and then turn it back into smooth stone as I need it. Little tricks that you look for when you're dealing with the game's bullshit. And obviously they're situational and you're not going to find them for every single case. Now, I do believe that I should be able to... Yep. Tinker's Pickaxe works just fine for the Granite Anvil.
Oops. Not that one. I'm probably losing this anvil. Nope, guess not. And just like that, we're restocked on that for a little while. Now, that's unfamiliar. Those aren't unfamiliar, weirdly. But they'll break into unfamiliar things. That I think I just want to get rid of. Keep those. Eh. So let's, yeah. Let's kind of make this the unfamiliar ores chest for the moment. Eat some tripe. I think that when I'm done with tripe, I'll make use of my mortar over there and I'll maybe finally make myself a refractory oven and I'll just make myself a stack of bread because I don't want to go back to eating melon. Restoring health one little nugget at a time is, it seems peasantly. And while I may not exactly be in in the bosom of luxury just yet, I feel like I have graduated from peasantry, at the very least. With a smeltery at my side, I'm feeling a little more technologically advanced. So, I should probably make a tinker's tool with luck. Well, I don't have any lapis. I do not have any lapis just yet. Yeah, that's especially funny because I think that normally those uh, geolosis ores that uh, that we got the diamond from would drop raw diamond, and that's something that you need to beat up on the anvil over there to turn it into diamonds. But just by having a spongy little tool rod and thus giving me a sneaky silk touch, I'm able to uh, I'm able to sneak my way into just getting regular old diamonds from it. That's kind of funny. Do I have any use for this? I can make molten emerald. That's not useful for anything. Oops. Okay. Da, da, da. Uh. Potion of luck. That's interesting. I don't think... I think that there's a mod that forbids trading with Minecraft villagers. So we can only trade with the millionaire. Yeah, that's not happening for a little while. We ain't getting a mage's workshop for a while. Hmm. Electrical engineer is the next stage, I do believe. So technically we might need them for bees. My soul just quivered up inside my chest a little bit there. So yeah, I, I don't see any... Well... It is a known good. Let's put it on the table. In any case, steel should have... Oh, I forgot to put it on a new batch before I left. I should have done that. I tried to put it on a new batch, that's why I needed to hunt more iron. I'm not stupid, I'm just forgetful. There we go. And let's just get these last three ingots out, just while we're waiting. But yes, if I didn't feel like making these uh, hard diamond tools, then what I could have done is I could have made a steel or hard diamond sharpening kit. You remember when I tried those thinking that I could use them to repair out in the field? Yeah. But I could then combine that on the tool table with a flint and my tool, and that would that would actually not use a modifier. It would simply raise my tool's mining level to the material of whatever I sacrificed in the sharpening kit. We are going to need a lot more metal storage. Hmm. And 
let's get started on the next match. How many of these are we going to need? Five. So one more match should do it. With some extra, even. Mm -hmm. And it, I imagine that our charcoal is done by now, so let's cycle it again. Keep it moving. Because we don't have all that much charcoal in storage in the grand scheme of things, not when we're consuming it a stack at a time. Yep. So only four failures in that batch. Not bad. Not bad. More than a stack of charcoal. And there's our steel. And there's our fifth steel plate. So next we're going to need the pig iron. So that's four of these. So that's also one rotten flesh per. Thank goodness I have enough. Otherwise I would need to figure out another source for blood. And that should be two clay balls. And that should be a nice even ratio for pig iron, from what I remember calculating. Switch it on up to the ingot cast. Am I steel on steel? Yes, I am. Let's put another load of cobble in. In fact, let's get some more cobble from the Normans just so that I'm not using the rarer cobble that I shouldn't have been using. Increase the garlic. Good. Hmm. Village looks like it might be stalling out on its advancement because they're... Ah, oh, no, no, there's, they're advancing a little. They're advancing a little. Still, I should build that tailor's workshop sooner or later to supply them with these carpets. I think they're going to eventually need banners, too, to upgrade the fort again. Let's cycle their windows. Lovely, we're halfway there. And just two stacks. Make one invisible. Do any of these have less weight? I doubt it. That's nah, looking like a no. Let me move, please. Thank you. Yeah, and what would that... Uh, I think it was called a tailor's workshop. What would that cost us? Honestly, nothing we haven't already built. Okay. I might do that the next time I have something that needs doing. That is just require me to sit and wait. Okay, so... What did I want cobble for? Other than just to have it? Come on, game. I completely forgot what I wanted cobble for in the immediate future. I'm sure it'll come to me. What is it? Hmm. Yeah, I... Yes, well, hmm. Need to pour out all this garbage in the smeltery. Keep a clean smeltery. It will save you trouble. What I really wish was if I could automate. I, 
And those redstone blocks. These chiseled variants. I asked uh, Riley about what was going on with the levers in his Let's Play. He says he thinks it might be something going buggy because they act really inconsistently. Sometimes you'll have to flip the lever a couple of times before it'll keep pouring. Sometimes it'll stop randomly. It's a cute little piggy iron. But still, according to him, it is just apply a constant signal and it should auto-pour. And I could technically make a journey to find myself some redstone blocks. Yeah, I could. I mean, is that steel? It is. Hmm. Well, we're close to the end of the age anyway. Eight gold deniers. Thank you very much. More rewards like that, please. The only thing that would be better is if you just gave me a life. Okay, so these lots of mason bricks. One, two, three, four, eight, eleven bricks. So that'll require 55 of these and 44 of these, of which I do not have enough. The pulp must flow. Let's go get some more sugarcane. Yeah, I think that if I still had iron parts on my tools, I could scrabble against these plants with them, and that should activate the magnetic feature and draw things in. Actually, how is iron as a tool rod? Let's see. Copper and... Pardon? Tool iron. Let's see. So that's 1.05 and 30 durability. That's 0.85 and 60 durability. Kind of similar. Iron is maybe slightly better. Well, no, iron might be slightly worse because I think, yeah, the uh, multiplier is vastly more important than just the number. Except for very specific circumstances. So no, an iron tool rod would probably be unwise. I could put it on the chisel just for the sake of making it a magnet. Since the durability isn't super important for the chisel. Well, the chisel is ultimately my money maker. Hmm. I guess it isn't super important that the axe be aquadynamic. I could put an iron mod an iron uh, binding back on the axe. Well, the Tinker's Construct magnetic effect isn't all that great anyway. I think it's only activated when you use the tool to break a block. It's only active for a couple of seconds, and it's only a really small effect around you. So it's honestly not that helpful, not until you get it at a really high level. Like, I think magnetic... Let's see here. Tinker magnet? No, no, that's, that's magnesium. Okay, so... Yeah, magnetic two. But that's only if it's the head. If it's the binding, it's just magnetic one. And I'm not sure what else would have magnetic two on it natively. I'd have to do a deep dive into the into the materials book to look for that. And right now I don't even have the materials book. I don't even have the station to make a materials book. 
I'm kind of going off of uh, half remembered lore here. Okay, so. Then we just need four seer bricks. I should have that in storage. So I do. And just like that, I think we might just have this. Oh, no, we need another workshop. I should have figured. Well, we know how that goes. 36 of these. 28 of these. Let's get another batch of pulp on. And one of these. Which is going to require that. That. Now we're going to need 20 of these. 16 more pulp. Four more iron. Just like so. And five of that. Three of that. And that's the hard part done. Next. It's probably time to convert that wood pulp. Good. Next. And I'm going to need to bring out the honorable crafting axe for that. Really wish I had a better recipe than... Yeah. <clears throat> well, I'm sure that in the future a better recipe than this for the crafting table will, will pop up. Like maybe once I can get a uh, a forestry a forestry carpenter, maybe we can make it in that or something in the next age. I mean, in any case, five more of these, four more of these. I always forget that I want 11 of those in total for this stage. And... Andesite. Andesite, andesite. And now it should be just one of those and... Yep. I love how cheap wood is now. And there we go. And now, finally, Blacksmith's Workshop. Huzzah! Now the Blacksmith's Workshop, as you might have guessed, it uses lava for its fuel cell. Yep, that's why we set up a new fountain area. Which, it's time to move this. Huh! Cobble! And it's not just a coincidence. So, why was... Why was the pickaxe smashing things into pebbles last time? Like, that's how it should behave with Silk Touch. I'm confused. In any case. Tong. And let's just make a cheap old easy faucet. I wanted more lava. That's what I wanted cobble for. We finally remembered. I think I have some lava in there already. I guess this thing filled up some. Hmm. Anything in there? No. Aluminum brass. 
Hmm. Sure, why not? I'll fire those. Sure, why not? I'll wear those. Yeah, it looks decent. Decent collection of bricks. I guess that now that I have a big pile of bricks, it would be a lot easier to make flint and steels. Pardon me. All right, aluminum brass. What's that gonna take? Aluminum and copper at three to one. So where am I gonna find some aluminum? Let's check out the mining target. Aluminum brass can be used to make casts more cheaply than gold. It only takes one ingot per instead of two. So if we want to make a ton of casts, this supply of aluminum brass that we're going to be making should suffice for us. So, that's platinum. That's nickel, I do believe. I guess let's search for the ore pile and see if any of this is aluminum. Nether quartz? Okay. It is amusing me to no end that I'm getting all these ores. That's aluminum. Okay. Just because that was looking a little bit dim in there. So, which one was these? That's aluminum. Yeah, let's see if I can get a third one. That's a third one. And let's take the most heavy thing in our pack and... Zinc! Brass! Is, is just brass brass useful for anything? That can also make... That can also make casts. Lovely. Now, I do believe that the Blacksmith's Workshop has actually opened up quite a lot that we can do right now. If I... You saw that it had 100 freaking recipes in it. Yeah. Let's just pick up one of these. So, both of these should be worth... Yeah, two ingots per... So, three to one, that should get us a nice even ratio. And the rest of these. Put it into here. Unfamiliar, unfamiliar. Really wish I could see what was unfamiliar to me on the actual... Isn't that just iron ore? No, that's copper. Nether quartz. Why not? And let's just smashy smashy this. Lovely. Not even proper coal, just coal pieces. Sad. Curse you, Pyrotech. 
But aluminum brass for the quest. Yes. Now, why does it want to build a uh, mechanical hopper? Is a mecha hopper actually used for any crafting recipes? Yeah. Ah, it's used in this. Okay, cool. So, now we have these cogs, we have the mechanical hopper. But more importantly, we have a couple of things that I think we can do on the blacksmith's workshop, which let's finish filling these out with lava. Just pour it out to where it's needed. Yes, I really like a, these melting channels when they're filled with uh, with lava. It's very pretty. Get another one of those. Do I have a charcoal in there? Yep. And really, that only takes one. It says two minutes. How long does charcoal burn for? Not that long. Let's give it a couple just to be sure. And let's see if one of these is lying, I guess. But anyway, yes, the blacksmith's workshop. Let me just go over to... Hmm. It's not letting me see recipes on it. Okay. Black... Smith's workshop uses from there. Good. Yes, yeah, so we can make things to kill monsters. We can make some kind of decor ish stones. Lots of traps. Kind of some incidental things. We can start making railway systems. Yeah, see how expensive these are. And, well, we can't really start making them yet. We could technically make our own armor. But uh, I have a better idea for that. <laughs> yeah. I don't think we're going to be manufacturing our own factory blocks. We're just going to be stealing them from the ships. Still, though, if this is the recipe, can you imagine just the kind of industry that went into making those ships? Good lord. Mm-hmm. Ridiculous. Just for your basic... Ah, I think that's something for carrying around these artisan tools. Auto chisel. Exactly what it says on the tin. The chisel chisel. Which is unfortunately useless to us. Not sure what that does. And there we go. We're starting to see some contracts armory stuff as well as the modifiers for Tinker's Construct itself. Yeah, we can start souping up our tools. Hmm. Firewood would uh, cause the tool to automatically smell things, but obviously that's not going to be happening. Yeah. Mandulian is a uh, alloy of cobalt and ardite, which are both Tier, which are both ores only found in the nether. Hmm. Not undoable. That's going to be what actually ends the chapter. There. Yeah, that's a lot of what I'm wanting right there. The traveler's accessories. We can finally make shields. If only I could get my hands on one of those. Aha! And there is what I was looking for. Yes, we can upgrade our tool and armor forges to their final forms, which will unlock all of the Tinker's tools and Tinker's armor for us. Yes. These are also lovely little... Uh... These are for... Uh... These are for increasing armor effects with Tinker's armor. 
The eye modifier will allow us to use our Tinker's Chisel like an eye chisel. We can finally make better anvils than the granite anvil. Probably going to want to do that as soon as I run out of granite anvils. Resistance. The resistance modifier applies a layer of unbreaking to your tools. Each one of these represents a 10% chance that using a tool will not use up any durability. If you find a way to get 10 modifiers on your tool, 10 of these will make the tool unbreakable. And they're not unattainable. Bit expensive, but not unattainable. Those gauntlets, I think, are the base of something that'll soup up Tinker's armor. Oh no, the reinforcement is... Yeah. The reinforcement is what I was talking about. I think this resistance... Yeah, that's... Resistance is a Tinker's armor modifier. It's the equivalent of a protection... Of a level of the protection enchantment. So, very nice. These will allow tools to have area of effect, like... I could have a 3x3 three three effect pickaxe without having to... But uh, I, I can get that a more easy way. Mm. We can finally make redstone torches. Why can we make redstone torches? We can make redstone torches. That provides a redstone signal. Will that work? Okay, I might need to put a chest... I, I might need to make myself a chest to make myself a hopper. To test this properly. Oh, it needs tools. It needs the tools. Well, let's... Uh, red stone torch. So I need a hammer, I need a groover, and I need cutters. Let's also... I guess this one is the most worthy. The begging man just looks a little bit more pathetic now. Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, I should have looked up what that needed. Okay, so... Put these on my recipe list. Yes. Okay, so that's probably going to need lots of Tier 2 tool rods, of which I don't have many right now. Mm. Wait, are these... These are Tier 1s. Okay, time to put some more copper on. Let's go fetch some more copper. Let's do a mass smelt of it. And loading up the smelter with that much of it will be inspiration for us to automate it. So we'll pour out what we need, and we'll see if this makes an auto-pour for us. I was excited for Tinker's armor, but now I'm excited for a completely different reason. Let me up, please. Thank you. Yes, let's pick up all this lovely garbage. Shoot. Knew I should have checked the chisel. <clears throat> but yes, if we can make an auto pour for the smeltery, life is suddenly significantly improved, even if it's a really buggy one. So this is just taking priority right now. All right. And I probably should go... Yeah, I should go check the line of where spawn is in order to pick up the drops. Or, or not where... Not spawn, but... Uh, the line of where the torches end. 
Because the NPCs are going to be fighting monsters there. I thought they should be fighting monsters there. Huh. I guess the monsters didn't. Hmm. Have they not been digging things up in the quarry? I mean, okay. Whatever. Something weird is going on there. Anyway, let's melt us some copper and let's make us some tool rods, if the game will stop lagging. Seriously, why do I sometimes just lose my sprint out of nowhere? Let's smelt all our copper. Why not? And I guess while that's melting, we'll finish uh, casting out our brass. Because it dries nice and quick. Yep, we're going to finish ahead of it. All right. So how many of these tool rods am I going to need anyway? Oh, I can't see what... Uh, three... Seven of them. Four... Groover. Let's just... Uh, yeah, Diamond Groover. Diamond Hammer. And Diamond Cutters. There, that's easier. So, I'm not going to need all that many. The Hammer is probably going to be the one that takes the most. Yeah. So, only making just a... Yeah, I have just queued myself up a horrendous order that I am going to have to justify by automating. But that's what we're going to do. I have declared it. And unless, unless it really requires a lever and not just any redstone signal, it's what we're going to do. So I'm going to guess that uh, 16 of these for 8 crafts should be enough. I'm probably going to need to make more refractory clay too. That is just a, uh, a mantra that is forever on your lips. We require more Vespine gas. Yeah, that dented it a little making that many. But yes, I wouldn't want to be sitting here doing this. So, let us hope that we can automate it. Yep, let's make more refractory clay too. And put this away. Definitely going to need gonna need more I'm gonna need more limestone is what I'm gonna need more of well, that's exactly 16 so I think we can mix the types and it shouldn't complain oh I don't have the hammer in there need to make more hammer And there we go. Nice quickened lime. 
Am I going to get a perfect batch? This might bode well. It do. That's a good omen. I need to refill that, probably. And... Slick it up. And I need more flint. Hammer it down, crush it up, and refractorize. There we are. Let's just, yep. And then eight of these will get us. A lovely collection of tier two tool rods. And we have some refractory clay for later. So, next I'm going to need some of this. I'm going to need some of these, and let's see what else we're going to need some of. Nothing. Nothing. And boards. There we go. And that is our blacksmith's shop stocked and our redstone torch got. Now, can I test this without a hopper or is it going to require a hopper? I guess let's see. If I just put this down, yeah, it starts pouring. Oh, okay, we need to make a hopper. We need to make a hopper because we have auto pour. That's wonderful, wonderful news. All right. All right. So I'm not going to go hunting for a chest. I'm just going to make it. Need four of those. Need 12 glue. Have 12 glue. Wonderful, wonderful news. Then need a piece of iron and eight wood, I do believe. Da, 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 chest. And then to turn that into a wooden hopper. Gonna need five more wood, two more tool rods, and the last of my glue. Ha ha ha! Exactly enough. Wonderful, wonderful news. Good. Now let's just take this. It's fine. And now we need to move our smelter around a little bit. So, that's gonna be our output inputting into there which means that yep we need to move the drain up one level in order to have our table right there which where did the f ah it fell into the hopper and now when I want auto pour I can just turn that on And it works! <laughs> All right, life is wonderful. Life is good. We have automated metal casting. Oh, that is such a relief. All right. And so, I think that is a wonderful place to end the evening. That is a good, joyous, beautiful mood. 
What a wonderful, wonderful day. All right. And next time, next time, as I was hinting before, I ran into this wonderful, wonderful device. Before I ran into that, I was hinting that we were going to look at some Tinker's armor to make life even better and get around the weight limit once and for all, as well as upgrading our tool stations to make us the best of Tinker's tools. And that will probably be the harbinger for mass tearing down those ships and using them to start decorating our base. So that is what we will be doing next time. Maybe not the decorating, but all the rest of that stuff. Oh, life is so good. Good night, everybody.